yeah, Adrian wants to share uh, his thoughts with us. So please, Adrian. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to add the uh, the power of uh, the the visual impact of showing um, destroyed uh, landscapes and environments. When I started my um, um, dance and war uh, program three years ago, uh, be before the uh, actual uh, um, invasion uh, happened, uh, I was uh, extremely attracted by um, dances emits uh, destroyed environments and uh, even uh, destroyed uh, industrial site and everything which was which looked like devastated as a metaphor for for uh, uh, an anticipation of future tragedies because we were after the uh, invasion of Crimea of um, Crimea we were after the um, aggression to Georgia so the the first step of uh, uh, feminine Futures Ukraine, this project which is about dance and war, uh, which is rooted actually on, on a previous project, uh, the Global Historical Feminine Futures, which is also about dance, war and trauma and tragedies during the 20th century. Um, uh, we have uh, German Expressionism, we have Futurism, all these movements, Martyr Graham, uh, for example, who reacted in uh, 37 parallel to uh, um, uh, Guernica uh, by uh, Picasso, and she performed immediate tragedy. tragedy. Uh, so um, artists are uh, fascinated by um, the, the, the little action they can have, and also fascinated by uh, forces uh, which surpasses them. Um, we sur surpass them. So um, there are um, songs about love and uh, beauty and flowers, but also there are songs about uh, the, the crude reality uh, of destruction, uh, the songs about or artworks or dances uh, about all these shifts of, of the planet. So um, when I, se I first selected in my program uh, on Ukraine, uh, all these uh, absolutely divine uh, works relate related to devastated environments. Then we, uh, when the uh, war started, we had dances amidst shelled um, uh, sites, for example, uh, um, Sofia uh, Naumenko uh, was from um, Ir um, Bucha, and he she walked uh, by a car uh, with uh, her father to Irpin, and she danced uh, in front of the uh, destroyed cultural center in Irpin. Um, so it's uh, the, the, and the the level of the beauty of the gesture of this fragile uh, little uh, dancer. Uh, who was extremely young uh, uh, versus the horror of the destruction was so powerful. So I think that there is a, a, a space for uh, um, having a very important and powerful uh, artistic discourse here with this confrontation with the fragility of, of the humanity, with the fragility of our societies, the fragility of our civilization versus the, the horror of the aggression and the violence and the absolute violence uh, that uh, some uh, it, it uh, on the planet. And it's not just Russia, but we have many other uh, countries who are, uh, regardless of our will to uh, live peacefully, regardless of our will of taking care of the planet, may, a huge quantity of money now is going to uh, uh, defending uh, Ukraine instead of uh, uh, being all together and defending our planet. So I'm uh, quite uh, agree with uh, all this uh, issue of uh, gen uh, ecocide, uh, which goes with uh, genocide and uh, um, and in fact uh, the uh, role of the artist is first the resistance and also the power of images he can use can uh, really. Um, um, create uh, uh, a counterpoint uh, point, uh, against uh, all these destructions. So we, our role is not nothing. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you very much. Thank you.